Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rajesh Fogla. I am an eye surgeon. I work at Lanka Hospitals as a visiting consultant and I also work at Apollo Hospitals at Hyderabad, India. Now let's talk about the eye. Normal eyesight is one of the special senses of the human body which is very vital in normal day-to-day -day functioning. Just close your eyes and imagine what life would be without being able to see properly. The human eye is very similar to a camera. The two structures in front part of the eye, the cornea and the lens, these two structures help focus the image onto the retina, which is similar to the film inside a camera. And whenever you have problems with any of these structures, you can have impairment of your normal eyesight. Now, in children, the commonest error is uncorrected refractive error. So that's why preschool screening is always recommended so that any refractive error can be identified and proper glasses can be given, which is very important for development of normal eyesight. Now, a lot of times parents have a big worry that my child is wearing glasses and is it possible to remove the glasses or the dependence on an external aid to see properly? Well, after the age of 18 to 20 years, once the power has become stable, there are options such as doing a laser refractive surgery or LASIK or implanting special lenses inside the eye called phakic lenses or ICL. Now these two surgical techniques can make the eye a perfect optical system, thereby taking away the need to wear glasses or contact lenses for normal eyesight. So if you are dependent on glasses or contact lenses to be able to see better, you can get a complete eye examination done, along with which a corneal topography is also performed, based on which we can decide whether you are an eligible candidate for any of these procedures. Both these procedures are uh, painless. They take 10 to 15 minutes to perform, and there is a quick visual recovery after the procedure. Now, the laser refractive surgery or the phakic IOS that you perform are all US FDA approved, which means that they have been tested out in a large population and only when the outcomes are predictable, safe, and with stable long-term outcomes, approval is given for these procedures. I started performing LASIK in Sri Lanka back in 2002. And since then, we have been successfully performing these procedures and thousands of patients have undergone this surgery with very good outcomes. Now, once you are above the age of 40 or 50, people still come and ask, can I undergo the LASIK procedure? Well, you can if your natural lens inside the eye is still clear. Sometimes as you grow older, the natural lens inside the eye, which is composed of proteins, they can get changes because of aging. If so, if your natural lens is developing some opacities or the clarity is not as what you wear when it is young, then there are other options besides LASIK. We can do a cataract surgery and implant special lenses like a multifocal lens or an extended depth of focus lens, which helps you see better both for distance, intermediate and near, thereby allowing you to do all your day-to-day -day activities without being dependent on glasses or contact lenses. Now, sometimes people have a thought process that cataract is something that you get only when you grow old, that means in your 70s or 80s. Well, that concept used to be there maybe about 15, 20 years earlier when people used to wait for the cataract to become mature or to become hard and the cataract used to be removed in one piece through a large cut and the recovery was also pretty long. Well, times have changed now. Now the surgery is done through a tiny two millimeter cut which does not require any sutures. There are no injections to be given. The surgery can be performed just by putting drops and even within a couple of days after the surgery, you can almost resume your normal day-to-day -day lifestyle. Now, when you have a cataract in the early stage, uh, we may not call it cataract. The new term that we give is what is called as dysfunctional lens syndrome. That means your natural lens inside the eye is no longer functioning normally. 
so we call it a dysfunctional lens. So if you have difficulty, your day-to-day -day activities are getting hampered because of these changes in power and you know need for glasses both for distance and near, you can consider undergoing this procedure and take the advantage of getting one of these modern lenses which are either the trifocal, the multifocal or the extended depth of focus lenses. Now, it's also important that periodically you get your complete eye checkup done because there are some conditions which may affect your eyesight and you may not be aware of it. One of this is glaucoma, which is a condition where the eye pressure is raised and because of this eye pressure being high, the blood flow in the optic nerve, the nerve is something that connects your eye to the brain. So the blood flow in the optic nerve is compromised, which results in death of the nerve fibers connecting the eye to the brain. And this results in loss of your peripheral field of vision. Uh, this does not cause any eye pain unless the pressure is very high. So you may not realize that you are losing your eyesight. That's why glaucoma is often referred to as the silent thief of sight. So anybody over the age of 40 or anybody with a family history of glaucoma, it's mandatory that you get your eyes checked up and get the eye pressure measured. Sometimes uh, the early detection of glaucoma uh, intervention in the form of either giving you eye drops to control the pressure or sometimes even surgery to create an alternate pathway for the fluid to flow out of the eye and thereby normalize the eye pressure can prevent visual loss resulting from glaucoma. If you are a diabetic, yes, diabetes can result in glaucoma, it can result in early cataract, but it can also result in changes in the retina. So unless you get an eye checkup done, you will not realize whether your diabetes is affecting the retina. Sometimes early detection of changes in the retina, that is the diabetic retinopathy, allows us to do early treatment or by preventing your lifestyle modification so that further changes in the retina can be minimized and you don't suffer any permanent loss of vision. As you grow older, there are degenerative changes that happen in the retina as well. We call them age-related macular degeneration. So this also results in your difficulty in reading small print. Sometimes you feel that despite having a cataract surgery and everything being done, you still cannot see very well. It is possible that the aging changes in the retina, the macular degeneration may be hampering uh, your normal eyesight. So a complete examination of the eye with certain specialized tests like the uh, macular OCT, you can detect if there are any abnormalities in the retina which can be treated by a retina specialist and thereby it can help prevent further loss of vision and sometimes it can help maintain your existing vision as well. So overall, depending on whichever age group you are, whether you are a child, you are a young adult or old age patient, there are various diseases that affect the eye at all points in time. So eye examination is mandatory. And if you do that periodically, I think you can maintain your normal eyesight and thereby enjoy a better life.